Hello, I'm Britta McCall from Morningstar Learning and an endorsed Spell to Write and Read instructor. I'm here with five of my children. I'm going to demonstrate how if you have a large family and you want to combine certain aspects of Spell to Write and Read, that it, this is a good way. You can review some of the phonograms together and you can do certain chart work in a big group and save time that way. Now normally these children each have their own um, lesson. Fiona's in her own lesson. She just turned five about a month ago. Scott and Linnea are in a lesson together and Ben and Bruce have a lesson together. So I have three separate spell to write and read lessons each day. But today we're going to do it all together. We're going to do the top part of the consonant vowel page right now. The consonant part. Does anybody know the difference between a consonant and a vowel? consonant and vowel page, the part about consonants, and as you all know, a consonant is any letter that is not a vowel, and it's also a phonogram that we say with our mouth closed, such as or d. Now, in the vowels, we have our mouth open, a, 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 e. You can always tell the difference between a consonant and vowel, whether your mouth is open or closed. And let's start with the consonants. I'll say a consonant, and then you're going to write it in your log. Let's say the first one. And write it. Excellent. And then make my chalk write it. And check yours to make sure it looks the same. And then the next one is Say it and write it. Nice. And make my chalk right there. Nice. And then the next one is d. Say that. D. D. And write that. And write it. And the next one is. Or can you make my chalk write that? D. 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 Nice. And the next one is. Can you write that? Oh, I see such pretty handwriting. <coughs> and can you make my chalk write that? Nice. And our next one is g j g g g j g g And can you make my chalk write that? G g d g g g And our next one is Can you make my chalk right back? Nice. And the next one is j. J, 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 j. Excellent. I see such nice writing. And can you make my, oh, you want to fix that first, Scott? Yeah. <coughs> yeah, a little slip. Okay. And you want to make my chalk right that? J. J, 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 j. Nice. And our next one is Excellent. Let me know when you're done. And can you make my chalk write that? Nice. And the next one is Oh. And can you make my chalk write that? Super. And the next one is mmm. That's good. And can you make my chalk write that? That's the one with three humps. And now the mmm. Can you make my chalk write that? Nice. And the next one is Oops, I erase that. <laughs> Let's see how that works. Ah, that's gorgeous, Fiona. And can you make my chalk write that? I think we can squeeze that in here. Very good. And we're gonna 
Our next one is, and you're going to be on your next line. Are you ready for that? Next you're going to write the Can you write that right here, Fiona? Oh, you have room out there still, huh? Okay, can you make my chalk write that? And the next one is rup. This chart, we just are using the <coughs> yuck sound of it, the consonant sound. And the last one is z. <coughs> and can you make my chart like right that? <coughs> okay, now we're going to read the chart together, and when we get to a phonogram that makes two sounds, such as that has two sounds. We're going to yell out two sounds. And then you'll take your red pencil and you'll put a check over the ones that have two sounds. But we'll do that when we get to it. So get both your pencils ready. First we'll read this. Ready? Are you ready? Can you yep. see? Everything? Okay, ready? Go. Two, two sounds. sounds. Yep, take your red. I'm going to use a yellowish one and make a check over top to show that it has two sounds. <coughs> there, you can check mark right on your yeah. check mark looks like that. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, let's keep going now. Two sounds. Two sounds. Good. And take your um, red pencil and make a little check cover it to show that you know it has two sounds. Okay, now we're at our. Are we ready for, to go on? Ready to go. Can you read them with me? Oh. Mm. Mm. And we're not going to check this one. It just has one sound, but we're going to underline it. And take your red and underline this. And Q always needs a U. Say that. Q, Q always, always needs, needs a U. U. U is not a vowel here. U, U is, is not, not a vowel, vowel here. here. Good. Let's keep going. We have. Two sounds. Yep, and make your check mark. And let's keep going. Yep, I. Three sounds. <laughs> right, technically it does. And we're really we're gonna circle it in red. Take your red and. For the consonant part, it only has one consonant sound, that's y. And then the vowel sound is i, I, and we'll be doing that on the chart below. But we're circling it because it's such a special letter, it's both a consonant and a vowel. <coughs> and then our last one, let's read that together. <coughs> Very nice. Okay, and what I'm going to do is we're going to take a little break, and I'm going to wash off this board and then we'll set it up for the second half of the consonant vowel chart, the vowel part. <laughs> <laughs> 